In just five days, Ohio voters will decide whether to legalize marijuana. As supporters and opponents of Issue 3 debate the measure, we want to know more about the impact marijuana is having on states where it's now legal at the local level but still outlawed in the eyes of the federal government. For a clearer look at Colorado's experience with legal pot, we go live right now to WLWT News 5's investigator reporter Todd Dykes, who's near Denver tonight. Todd. Yeah, Mike, depending on who you ask on the streets of Denver, sales of cannabis now king in the state of Colorado, at least compared to alcohol. Trouble is, it's an all-cash business because the feds consider marijuana money bad news. Nicole Serena loves almost everything about Colorado's legal marijuana marketplace. Being able to do it in your own home and not having to worry about it is a great feeling. What's not a great feeling is trying to use a credit card to pay for pot and then being denied. It's an issue. So when you have an all cash, cash business. Andy Williams runs Medicine Man, the retail pot shop where Nicole ended up using dollar bills to buy a product Colorado considers legal. She had to pay cash because marijuana remains illegal in the eyes of the federal government, which makes credit cards Card companies and banks reluctant to accept proceeds from pot. The bulk of the industry, of the banking industry, simply won't touch the business. Don Childers is the president of Colorado's Bankers Association. Without banking services, there is an awful lot of cash in the system on the streets. In many ways, we count ourselves lucky in that we haven't had the violent robbery that many of us envisioned and could still take place. Because most banks won't touch pot profits, retail stores often end up paying their taxes and utility bills, among other things, in cash. It's getting a little out of control with how much cash is being um, you know, kept on hand at these stores. You know, we hold our breath every day, and it's one of the reasons that we, as uh, an association representative of the conservative banking industry, actually advocate for a federal change of law in this area because it's... Uh, simply uh, a problem of public safety here. Well, just like in Colorado, it would be a similar situation in Ohio if voters do say yes to legalizing marijuana. Now, some banks operating within strict guidelines do accept pot money here. But, boy, it is a very delicate situation, one which will likely only be resolved by an act of Congress one way or another. Todd Dykes reporting live tonight in the Denver suburb of Aurora for WWT News 5. Hey, Todd, thank you. He's going to stay out there, by the way, reporting on this issue through Election Day on the 3rd of November. He's been leading the way on the marijuana in Ohio issue, checking out the Colorado experience to see what issue 3 would mean for us in Ohio. 